All right, lads, welcome to another episode of the Barry Eichel's Burger Bonanza. Galway City is an unbelievable spot for films, the arts, sailing, horse racing, or just having the almighty crack. Absolutely, and whilst you're having all that crack, if you want to get the bleeding gob blown off you by some super special spicy salsa, or maybe you just want an absolutely amazing burger, well, the Chili Shack in Galway City is the place for you. Big time. Tucked away on Abbeygate Street, this menu hits the spot for spice lovers like me, but leaves lesser men whimpering and gasping for water, wondering when's it gonna stop? Like me. <laughs> <laughs> Just play the tape, will ya? <laughs> How are you doing? How are you? Good to see you, man. How are you? How's it going? Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you on the hair, Yeah, sure. Yeah, Thanks for coming. So maybe if you just tell us a little bit about how we came about to be uh, selling such delicious burgers. Okay, uh, well we've been open about six months now. Um, we started off with a trailer, um, selling through the festivals, you know, body and soul, picnic, that kind of thing, like, you know, and it went all right. So we thought, let's take the plunge, see what happens, you know? And uh, now we're here. What are the, the, the quintessential things that make up a good burger? I think I've got a pet hate about burgers that are too over the top and too fancy and that are so big you can't put it in your mouth in one hit. That's kind of defeating the whole point of a burger, like, you know? Mm. Um, so one of the things we do here is, is we just keep it really simple. First thing I've got, screaming hot grill here. And I'm gonna add butter, because butter makes everything better, basically. There's nothing fancy going on. There's no gourmet toppings or anything ridiculous like that. I mean, that has its place, that's grand and all, but we just do a solid, basic, good burger. We just use good quality ingredients. Like, the bacon we get comes from a specialist butcher's around the corner who just does everything to do with pigs. Okay, so this is the uh, smoked bacon we get from the specialist pork butcher around the corner. Uh, he smokes it in-house for a week. It is ridiculous. It's like crack cocaine, man. It's, it's insane. Like, you know? <laughs> we get our beef from a butcher around the corner as well, so I literally go out each morning to pick it up. It's all local, it's all fresh, it's just good quality, it's cooked right, simple seasoning. Like I said, nothing fancy, just do it right and do it simple, like, you know? How is it that the burgers became such a kind of prominent part of what you do? Well, like, the plan was just to sell one good burger, and that was it, and it was such a huge hit. We were like, Fuck it, let's do more of them, let's keep this thing going, like, you know? Um, so now we do six burgers, so I'd say we'll definitely make the bacon cheese, that'd be our bigger seller. Uh, so we do that, and we'll probably do a smoke stack as well, which has got a bit about onion rings, oak smoked cheese, it's pretty good, like, you know? Sweet. Yeah, do with that. Yeah, you want to and could those? you tell us a little bit about the bun, actually? The bun, yeah, we use a brioche bun, um, which is good, because it's got like butter and egg in, which is tasty, you know? Mm. Um, and I was... I was a bit of a heathen with brioche buns. When, when I first saw it on the market and people were putting brioche buns and burgers, I was like, that's not gonna work, that's not right. And then I tried it and I saw the light and I'm fully converted now, you know? Yeah. Excellent, well look, we can't wait. Really? Let's, let's, let's make yeah. some burgers, so let's do it. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. The sweet brioche, salty of the bacon, a little bit of the heat from the chipotle and the chili and the relish. Yeah, I'm gonna try this bad boy. I can't it's a really nice balance. This looks amazing. Oh man. Oh man, it's pretty good. It's pretty amazing. I'd say, I know the, the onion rings are really good on this as well. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Everything in this yeah. has come together so well. <laughs> Self feeling as well. Excellent. Amazing. 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 Oh, nice. like, it's not crazy hot at all, it's not insanely hot. Like. No, well, we'll wait and see. <laughs> it's a couple of seconds, I'll tell you. Yeah, that was an immediate hit, bro. Mm. Yeah, it's got that kind of dry, back and back of the thing, it's gonna turn to pain. Yeah, oh my god. Thanks for your I knew I should have done that. It's pretty hot, alright? No, I'm not just both chicken. Yeah, covered in that stuff. Does it go anywhere, away anytime soon? No, no, no. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm in fucking pain here, man. Oh, man. <laughs> like we just dipped a, we just dipped a chip in. Like imagine doing fucking twelve wings of that shit. Man, that salsa was unbelievable. Just thinking about it makes my mouth and eyes water. I know. Those lads who tried the chili shack challenge, they're either complete heroes or absolute lunatics. Yeah, but it ain't no gimmick. I mean like the burgers are delish. That smokestack was funky. The lads were fucking sound. Yeah, I dropped into the lads when I was back in Galway just there a week ago. And uh, I just had to try that chili out. Mind blowing stuff. Oh man, making me hungry. Tell me this, Sam. Um, where'd you get the glasses? <sighs> Leave it out, will you? <laughs> <laughs>